I can hear a, a dog yapping, like a small dog going ape shit somewhere in the vicinity, meaning, I don't know, maybe down by Popeyes. So I have Luna with me. So anytime I hear something like that, and I have a dog with me, I'm like, oh, let's go make sure the dog I'm with will maintain control. Oh, it's a Yorkie and they're holding it and it's going ape shit. It just bit the kid. Now the kid just hit the dog. Put the dog on the ground, you know? If you have a dog with issues, you do not pick it up. That's giving the dog positive reinforcement. The dog is a fucking mess. Like literally a fucking mess. The mother or the older sister, whoever it is, it's not. The little kid is holding the dog. Absolutely the worst thing that you can do. Don't let your kids walk your dogs. That's just horrible. They can't maintain control if there's a problem. It's just, it's such a huge mistake. And this, this Yorkie is a fucking mess. It's barking fucking incessantly and then it bit the kid. Oh, and okay, so the dog is on a harness and a flexi lead. There you go. There you go. The dog is a nightmare. Yeah. I was, uh, I was not banning anybody on my channel for a while because I was too exhausted. I was dealing with Pharaoh. This is true. It was tough as soon as I started isolating the guy and then my friend got injured. But I'm just seeing a text coming in saying he's standing, he's going to do great. So he, he, fe he fell down and got hurt real bad, real bad. So it's great seeing that text. That's so, so great to see. But the point being that I was telling my friend Jinyan today, I was like, man, I've been banning a lot of people, you know? I have been. I, I just don't want to dip. People think one thing, they think that because they think a way, somebody else is going to think like them. Like I had somebody yesterday say, oh, I was going to give you $300 if you answered my question, but since you don't want to do that kind of stuff, you know, like, like they're they're assuming that $300 would mean so much to me that I'd, you know, I'd be, oh, really? Okay, I'll, you bum me out. Like, n now I should answer your question. Like, who are you to tell me what you think my shit is worth? And you're way fucking off by thousands. Like, you're gonna give me $300. You think I'm gonna work for 300 bucks? Why, why, what? out of your fucking mind so I had to ban them and then this this real annoying man I see this all the time somebody kept posting this will you be my daddy every time they post will you what the fuck are you talking about are do you not have a father or is this like a sexual thing you want me to be your like daddy you know you're like a gold digger Get the fuck out of here I don't want to see your shit I don't I don't I don't care what or who you are you just keep posting the same shit, you look like an idiot. As, as I'm working with a dog with a toilet in the background. This is Brooklyn. It's like shit like that. You know, I've found people out here going, I've found only women, this is true, only women out here going to the bathroom on the street. No, I find guys peeing out here all the time. But like, chicks taking dumps, it's weird, man like some prostitutes. I saw one lady who I know lives in the Saratoga housing. I know who, she, who it is. And she said, if, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Honey, if you gotta go, you gotta go. And she's taking a dump, but she's fucking 200 feet from, you know, from the from the housing. You, you couldn't wait, you know, 200 feet. You had to, you had to dump on the street. I guess, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, if, it, if it's if it's that bad, I would assume that you're sort of like, you know, in a position where you're gonna wear diapers soon. You can't give somebody a ticket like that, you know, if they really had to dump. You know, what are they gonna do, dump in their pants? 
I don't know. It's Brooklyn. Hey, Luna, here. Luna, we're going to teach to catch a frisbee. And this has sort of been a problem for her because she's she's been dropping some teeth. Speaking of teeth, you'll find these baby teeth just lying all over her. You'll find the dog on. She just spit this out on the ground. I thought she had a stick in her mouth. They'll swallow them, whatever. Good, get rid of these things. Get the big boys in. Let's this is rubber. This is the one I want her to work with. So we're gonna stick with this. They don't make a small plastic one. We're gonna, we're gonna use this one. If they had, had smaller regular Frisbees, I'd be training her on that and then switch her into this, but they don't have it. Excuse me. <coughs> this year, this field over here, there's all kinds of, of plants growing over here I'm allergic to. So as soon as I got down here, there's times I come out here and it just, it, the door opens, I open the front door, it hits me like a, a ton of bricks. It's, it's, it's really bad, but it's sort of better for me to be sick because of the, the pollen than taking antihistamines, which make me feel like shit. Seriously, it's not like, if I get a cold or something, the last thing I'm gonna do is take a cold medication. No fucking way. I'd rather grin and bear it. It's terrible. Hey, come here. Sit. So, it really, it really is about her holding this, and if you're gonna teach your dog to do frisbee, you could even start having them hold it like this here. You could do the ear pinch hold, and have them hold it upside down and get them, no, no, hold. Get them to hold it upside down, right? And they get used to that, and then you could even drop you could even take it and have them start doing retrieves. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? So they get used to just bringing it back to you. But I have a, I have a feeling she's gonna, as soon as she gets holding this and we do some retrieves, I think she's, I've already showed her, you know, she, she'll be into it. Luna, here, it's really windy. I'm surprised my, my, my phone's on this like little ledge right now. Hey, what are you looking at? Somebody walking down the street, do what you're told. Here, so we'll have her hold it the right way. Hold, hold, drop. This is harder. This is much harder. Here, I'm gonna hold. No, I'm gonna hold. Hold, hold, drop. No, you're not paying attention, sis. Come here, here. Sit. No, I don't like that. Sit right there. Luna, sit. Okay, here, hold. No, hold. Good. Drop. Hold. No, hold. Good. Drop. Drop. No. No. Luna, hold. No. Hold. No. 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 Hold. Notice my tone. She's not supposed to do that. Drop. If I would, if you know, she's not paying attention. She's listening to the fucking, you know, art school kids walk down the street. That's not, do you understand what I'm saying? If you have a dog and you're just saying no, 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 you're not using the right tone. You, you can say no, right? But you also might have to butch it up. No! See, she sort of turned around. What? What am I doing? So you, you can't just have like one tone with the dog. Yeah, it is about, you know, you're doing something good or you're doing something bad. But there's different degrees. No! Oh! Sit. She's not paying attention. She's paying attention to people walking around. I know it's tough, but she has to get this. Luna. No. Luna. No. Hold. Good. Drop. Hold. Good. Drop. Hold. Good. Drop. Hold. Good. Hold. Good. Hold. Good. Hold. Good. Hold. Good. Hold. Good. Don't go anywhere. Hold. How cute is that dog? Hold. That's pretty cute. You got it? Hold. Hey. Get it, trust me. Hold. 
There you go, good girl. Drop. Here, back here, back here. Hold. No, get it, hold. Pick it up, hold. Let's see if you pick it up. No, not the stick. You're still puppy. Hold. No, hold. Hold. There you go, you got it. No. Want to hold? Yeah, there you go, drop. Hold. I just want her to like doing it, and we're using, we're gonna use, use excitement to get her to do this, so, you know. At times she did, she, I can get her to go into heel, right? I wanna increase drive with this. So there is an element of sort of teasing her. Luna, Luna, hold. Hold, yeah, you did good, yeah, good, hold. Good, good girl. Good, Luna, hold. No, not with your paws, hold. Yeah, there you go. You got it. You got it. I'm gonna hold. Yes, good girl. No, hold. There you go. Good girl. See, she's picking it up. Hold. Notice how I snuck that one in. Oh, look, rally. No, Luna. Uh, she's into it, so now I'm holding it right. Get her to grab it the right way. Luna, hold. Good. No. Luna, hold. That's good. Good girl. Gotta get it, dude. Okay, drop. Hold. That's pretty good. No. She sounds like a little tiny Wookiee or something. No, no, hold. Let's make it easier for her to get it. Upside down. Hold. No, hold. Good, nice. Good. Hold. Hold. It's good. Good girl. Good. Do you understand? It can be real free form right now. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. We just want her to really see this as something positive, and for her to start holding it. You can use walls to help train the dog. Nobody's stopping you. Doesn't it sort of make common sense? It's a lot of muscle memory. I'm limiting how she can, you know, how far back she can go by using the wall. We're, we're, we're working on her coming to heel doing this too. And if you if you do this exercise with your dog, they'll try and cheat. Like, she'll probably run, try and run back without me giving the command here in a second. They'll try that. Now, I've kind of worked her past that, so she's not doing that very often. She knows the drill now. But she, she'll probably screw up here. Watch it. See? She cheated. She has to go right back down where she started. But you can use walls. This, this helps the dog learn. And also, we're getting the dog used to putting its ass against the wall because I, I want to see if she'll hold the door open. She's a very small dog. But to do that, she has to be able to do this. So... The other thing is that dogs don't really like to do it. So by pushing the dog and making sure that the dog's being compliant with something that it really didn't want to do in the first place, but then does, you set the stage for a healthy, happy dog. You know, the, the dog's listening to you. You give it a command and, you know, the dog's functioning properly. You build on success. Use walls. Nobody's telling you not to. Use hallways. Hallways are great. Use a hallway. All those things that are available, you just don't don't think, you know, think about it. It's common sense and it's a lot of muscle memory. Now, you can work your dog without weave poles. This is what I do when I'm in the city. I use the poles outside of key food. And it works fine. It works real good. You can teach your dog to do weave poles by doing pretty much what I'm doing here with Luna. Except Luna's doing weave poles at this point. When you first start doing it, you sort of thread the dog through it. It looks real sloppy, but they pick it up real quick. So look, look at how fast Luna can go through here. If it was later at night, I might have her off leash. There's just too much action going on. She's, you know, she's very young. Um, it, so it's it's really not important that she is off leash. Actually, like you know, we're just practicing. It's just as easy for me to thread the leash through real quick. There's no pressure on that leash. She is doing weave pulls real good. She's a fast little freak. See her, see her run through there? She's really into it. It's a fast so little dog. One of the things that I'm teaching Luna to do is to carry mail. Now, she's so small, 
that if she, she holds it like this, I tried, the letter is sticking out of her mouth and it'll bump on the step and she'll drop it. Now that's only because she's sloppy mouth because she just learned this. And we're incre trying to increase her bite force as we go, but we wanna, we wanna get success and we want her to start doing it. So what, what I do in this situation is I just fold the, the envelope up. I fold it up like this to make it easier for the dog to hold. Once she's holding it and going up and down the steps better, then we'll try to get into it this way. But until then, it's a different material, it's a different thing, and also it has like a springiness to it, right? So that springiness helps, that's like pressure, it's telling, telling her to like open her mouth. So I want her to move past that and know that she has to hold it. And we've already done a few sessions with her doing this, and she's doing real good, but she has to hold it, even though that it's springy, and telling her mouth to open up. No, it's not about opening up, it's about holding it, Luna, and holding it until I give you the command. It's an implied stay. So let's let's see how she does. Oh, here comes my neighbor. Hang on. No, no, hold. Hold. Heel. See how she's holding it? That's not good. She needs to hold it better. Luna, sit. It's going to fall out of her mouth. No, hold. Hold. Try it like this. Here, hand. Hold. That's better. Hold. Make it easy on the dog at first. Hold. Heel. Whoa. Heel. Whoa. No, whoa. Just doing whoa, holding it. Heel. Whoa. It's harder at the top of the steps. Heel. Sit. No, sit. Hold. Drop. So here, here's Miko. I'm going to teach Miko to do the same thing. Miko, I don't remember ever teaching her to do this. And this is how I did it with Luna. And this is how I'm going to do it with Pharaoh, probably. I'm going to get Pharaoh next. Um, if the dog's never held it and you say hold, they sort of look at you like, what, I'm supposed to hold this? So you make sure that they hold it by opening the dog's mouth, putting it in there, and going over the basics, just saying hold, hold. And we might do drop, we might do a few sessions just doing that, and get the dog to hold the object before we even uh, move the object. If you have to, go back to the ear pressure, hold, hold. Just make sure that the dog's open its mouth for it before you're going to have the dog travel. Drop. Hold. No, hold. There you go, you got it. Hold. She's opening her mouth now. Drop. So she'll get this. This won't be an issue. Miko? No, okay, you don't need that. Okay, hold. The sensation, it's, it's sort of like, you know, it's dry. They don't get it at first. Hold. No, hold. Yeah, we'll be more direct. Make sure she's holding it in the middle. You know, if the dog's moving around, you're gonna hold it at either end. No, hold the object in the middle. No, put it back in her mouth, hold. Sometimes with a dog that, that holds objects real good and does retrieves, I might even fold the object up or folding it for a different reason than we are with like Luna. I just want to make it easier, more compact, and make sure that the dog gets used to holding paper. Hold, no, hold, hold, there you go, hold. Drop, that's good, try it again. Hold, no, hold, there you go, you got it. Hold, also by folding it, drop, it makes it smaller. So she doesn't have that option of like, am I gonna hold it on either end? See what I'm saying? Hold, no, hold, it's good, hold, hold, good girl, hold, hold. So we'll do a few sessions just like this. We'll get her going for the, the envelope and then we'll have her walk the stairs.
where Luna's already walking the stairs, but I was working with Luna for a few sessions on this, and I actually did one session with Farrell, and, and Farrell was, was taking the object. I didn't have to go back to ear pressure, he just started taking it. This is a Sheba, they're more resistant. She'll get it, hold, drop. Good girl. You're good, good girl. Do it one more time, hold. No, hold. In the middle, hold, that's good, hold. Sometimes take it and move it around. We want her to hold it, sort of tight, hold. Hold, she might walk with it, let's see. See if she walks with it up the stairs. Hold, hold, heel. Hold. There, she's doing it, hold. Whoa, hold, heel. Sorry, whoa, whoa, heel. Whoa, whoa, heel, whoa, it's harder towards the top, your tendency to cheat, heel, sit, no, sit, pretty good, there you go, drop, that's pretty good, let's try Pharaoh, heel, hold, whoa, heel, whoa, So since I just saw her spitting out one of her baby teeth, we'll knock it off using the Frisbee today. It's been an issue, you know, you're dropping teeth and this feels all weird and gummy, you know? So we won't, we won't do any more Frisbee by tomorrow. We can go back to doing work in this. So, and as you saw, she is getting very excited about it. So that is what we want with retrieving you use the dog's excitement in a controlled manner. That's what you have to do. So we want her to be excited about this and she will catch this. I guarantee you she will.